Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Right, open the hood, pull the release under the dashboard on the left side. Squeeze the safety release. The hood has its own struts to hold it up. It's no prop rod. This is the brake fluid reservoir. See the fluid's nice and clean and clear. It's right at the max fill level. That's where it should be at all times. This is the power steering fluid reservoir. There's actually two sets of minimum and max lines on here. There's a cold minimum and a cold maximum, and then a cold, uh, sorry, a hot minimum, and a hot maximum. So right now the car is cold, and it's sitting just above cold minimum. So we're gonna add some fluid to it to bring it up to cold maximum. So open it, turning it counterclockwise. And add the recommended fluid type. Reinstall the cap, turn it clockwise to lock it. This is the coolant overflow reservoir. You can see the low mark is down here, the high mark here, so F for full. It's right about here. You can also check the coolant uh, level when the car is cool. You can open this cap, turn it counterclockwise. This is on the top of the radiator. Car has plenty of coolant. Coolant should be right to the top of the neck on the radiator. Reinstall this. Turn it clockwise to lock it. You need to add washer fluid. It goes into this tank here. And it's sort of translucent. So this one looks like it's a little bit low. But you can add fluid up and you'll see the blue washer fluid as it fills up, because it's clear. Check the engine oil. You pull your engine oil dipstick here. Replace it. Your oil level should be between the low mark here and the high mark here. This is right at the high mark, and it looks pretty clean. So that's perfect. If you need to add oil, remove the oil cap here, unscrew it. It actually tells you the weight you can use, 520, 0W20. Just unscrews from the valve cover. When you're finished adding oil, place the cap. Tighten it, and then wipe up any oil you may have spilled. Automatic transmission fluid, the dipstick is right here. It's got a lock on it so it doesn't come out. You push the lock over, pull the dipstick out. You want to do this when the car is running, so the fluid is moving through the pump. But you do the same thing, wipe it off. Reinstall it back out. So depending on how long the car has been running, if you just started the car and you want to check uh, the automatic transmission fluid level, it will be at cold. And the first notch is cold low, and the second notch is cold high. If you've just driven the car down the highway and it's still running and you want to check the transmission fluid level, it should be here at the hot low or the hot high and between these two is usually about a quart of transmission fluid so depending on again if the vehicle has been running it will be hot or if you've just started it it will be cold over here so you should always check this with the engine running push it down in there 
Make sure it locks so it doesn't come back out. If you needed to fill this with transmission fluid, you'd have the dipstick out and you put a nice funnel into here and you'd add your transmission fluid right through the dipstick tube. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.